What's even more shitty is like... I mean, you knew, you knew about our extreme age difference. He's 52 and I'm 30, so you do the math. Um, I tried to go on a few dates with guys my age. One guy I went on the date with, he, he drank 12 beers in three hours. And I don't drink. I just don't. It's not good for me. I don't do it. And I'm not like, don't drink. You're an adult. Have a drink if you want one. But when you're drinking that amount in the course of only three hours, you have a fucking problem. Like, <laughs> you have a problem. And I was like, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. And then the other guy that I went on a date with lied about his fucking height. <laughs> he said that he was 6'1". And in fact, he was 5'9". That's only one inch taller than me. No. <laughs> no. I showed up to that date wearing heels, man. Oh, it was so bad. You could just see the look on his face. Like... <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah, it was really bad. Yeah. I just can't, I can't hang with the... Height is such a problem because I like, when I hug a guy, I like feeling protected and loved and, you know, like, I can't feel that way when you're shorter than me. <laughs> just can't. <laughs> I feel like I'm, like, it just doesn't feel right, damn it. I don't like it. It's not a turn on for me. <laughs> Let's be honest, the whole point of going on dates is to possibly find a mate with someone, so you kind of have to be attracted to them on that sexual level. <laughs> no. I just can't do it. And it's not like a reflection on who they are as a human being. <laughs> you promise. I bet you are. And I mean, I'm not vain, like, or shallow in the respect of, like, you have to look like a fucking supermodel for me to date you. I'm not like that. That's not really my thing. But... You have to take care of yourself. You know, like... At least put in an effort to be healthy. You know? As I'm sitting here with my McDonald's bragging about how I wanted to eat 20 chicken nuggets, but I was good and only ate eight. <laughs> Pot calling kettle, huh? CJ, if you're 6'2", you need to come to Texas. <laughs> That's alright, cause I... Oh my gosh, I can't wait for the show tomorrow night. It's gonna be so fun.
<laughs> Y'all both in the same face. That's so funny. The only thing is, if we date, you're gonna have to at least show me and train me on how to speed run some Hitman. Cause I still wanna learn to do that. I really wanna learn to do that. And I can't think of anybody anybody better to learn it from than you, because you're the master. Oh, is it Steve the intern? <laughs> uh, that video had me laughing so hard. Steve the intern. I wish I could use this right now. It's making me really mad. That was a nightmare. <laughs> like, I failed so bad at that. Really bad at that. I guess we'll do this one. Hi, Steve! <laughs> Steve the intern. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Good time. Good time. Yeah, what is this crap? That's because you have emphysema, jackass. Asshole. Just tell me to fuck off. <laughs> uh, so messed up. <laughs> Sick burn, bro. Dab. <laughs> Dab it out, bro. Dab, dab it out. <clears throat> so bad. God. I'm going to hell. <laughs> you don't know why you're laughing at the fact I made fun of you? Oh, That must mean we're friends. <laughs> messed up. So messed up. That's a giant mallet, man. I can wear this now. Right? 
<laughs> Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> Wilfred Brimley. Diabetes. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Ah shit. Why did I do that? Totally reset my chat. <clears throat> what the frickin' hell? It's not letting me do the pop out chat. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'd have to afford it, and I can't afford it right now. Probably in the near future, though, for sure. I don't have Dreg's evil eye, so what the hell is that for? I feel like this isn't really meant for me. So I'm just gonna put it over here and say screw it. We need that. That's better. You love me some South Park, though. Was it you who were telling me about Big Mouth? I watched that last night, and I almost peed my pants from laughing so hard. Especially when the, the monster, the hormone monster, was like... <laughs> he was like... Let's watch the Dallas Buyers Club sex scene with the prostitutes and try not to think about AIDS. And then he's like, I'm thinking about AIDS. <laughs> so messed up. Really good though. I know someone mentioned it in chat last night. Pretty sure someone in chat mentioned it. <clears throat> anyway, you should totally watch it. It's on Netflix. It's fucking hilarious. Man, I was laughing so hard, it's making me cough. I'm a primate with pimp like mine state. Raising the curve to make contemporaries irate. Still obsessed with your breasts and your fish net eating on my thin chest. How the hell do I get up there? My nature is the Look at that, it's a secret. Or your barely legal fever. Buzzing overhead, spitting fly game. Nowadays, cats be getting paid and laid up off of my name. 